Hello again, everybody. My name is 12 Watts, and I am coming to you today with another video. Uh, this one is how to write praise and worship songs. There is a lot of people out there who are praise and worship leaders of your church, of your ministry, um, at school. Some, you know, Christian schools have praise and worship in the morning. And I, I believe I've heard a lot of people say, well, I, I want to write my own praise and worship songs. I'm sick and tired of singing other people's praise and worship songs, but I don't know how to write my own songs. I don't know where the inspiration comes from. I don't know how to put the lyrics together, how to get the music. <clears throat> you know, I, I, I've also heard them say, they look at writers and singers who are already out there full-fledged in their ministry, such as Hill's Hillsong worship and you know other praise and worship uh, leaders and groups that are already fully in their ministry and I think they feel like well I'm so small you know nobody knows who I am and I don't want to write a song because I'd rather just keep singing their songs but I don't I think if God gave you the ministry or the heart to write praise and worship songs, then you need to be about doing the business that God has called you to do. And also, if you believe in the word of God, then you will know that God is able to write the song. He's God. He's able to do anything and everything. So you don't have to, don't try and find the condition in yourself to write the praise and worship song. We can't do anything. We're just humans. We need the power of God to write the songs for us. So uh, whatever it is that we we're trying to do, whatever your gift is, you need the power of God to manifest that gift for you. So my favorite verse is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, not through me. It's not in me. It's in Christ who strengthens me to do whatever it is that he has called me to do, especially if God has called you to do it. Trust me, he's going to make a way for you and he's going to open the door for you as well. So you don't have to think that nobody wants to hear your song. No, if God gave you that ministry, God is going to open the door. Okay, so just start writing. It doesn't matter. Um, I wrote down a few notes of uh, some things that can be inspirational and helpful to others out there who may want to write praise and worship songs. Today, I'm going to be using my just my small little line six practice amp. This amp is actually really a good amp. It really has a nice volume. It has a nice reach. And uh, for small, intimate venues, this amp would be actually just fine, honestly. But I'm just going to be using this amp today just for the purposes of this video. I took a few notes so that I, I had a, a reference and didn't forget something that I wanted to touch, touch on. But um, first, if you want to start writing praise and worship songs. You can start with music. If you play an instrument like me, if I write a song, I'll, I'll start by playing. Usually I'm practicing chords or I'm sitting down and just playing chords. You know, and you can start by just playing some chords. Or if you play the piano, you can just start by playing around, finding some chords that you like, that strike your heart. Um, it doesn't have to be so intellectual and you know, you have to find a formula. No, a lot of the times it can be spiritually inspired. You sit down with your instrument and you just start playing some chords. Say I like these chords that I'm playing. I want to write a song based on that because something about it just strikes me. So then I'll start with my chords. And I got my chords, okay? And then I'll just think. Oh Lord, I love you.
can put that inspiration into your soul. Whatever it is, even if you want to just say thank you. You can just say thank you. Thank you. So songs don't have to, okay, eventually you do want to format it in a song that others can sing. And if you want the congregation or the audience to sing with you, you want to make it very simple, very basic, very easy to remember so that by the second chorus, they can remember the lyrics and they can hear you and they can start singing as well. I believe if God gave you the inspiration to write the song, if he writes it through you and you're just the vessel for his music, that it'll, it'll be heart to heart. You'll be touching the hearts of others. You don't even have to worry about it because it'll be God doing the work through you. So then you wanna start with your lyrics. You wanna let the lyrics come to you. You wanna have your melody and then you wanna have your lyrics and whatever breaks and changes you wanna have. Again, if it's a praise and worship song, you don't wanna have a lot, of, a lot of changes. What I just did was just a sample of just sitting down and letting some chords come to you. I just want to show you that it's very easy. People feel like, oh my God, I could never write a praise and worship song. That's not true. You actually can write a praise and worship song. You just need to ask God to help you and stop trying to do it on your own. song because the reason we're here is to give him the praise and worship and if that's what you want to do he will give you the lyrics to do I'm just showing you it's very easy okay it's easier than than people think okay don't let that fear stop you from writing a praise and worship song the other thing I wanted to speak about was inspiration a lot of the times our experiences as human beings is more than enough inspiration to write a praise and worship song. Uh, you go through things every day. Sometimes we go through gut-wrenching, heartbreaking circumstances. That's your praise and wor worship song right there because at some point, God is gonna bring you out of those circumstances and you will be inspired to take a look at that situation and write your praise and worship song based on the experience you just went through and how God brought you out Okay? The other thing is, sometimes people feel like they need to write an outline for a praise and worship song. Let me start with thank you, or let me start with praise you, or let me start with I trust you, or let me start with you are worthy. All of that is fine. You can write an outline, and then you can fill in your, your verses and your, your breaks and your chorus based on the outline that you just created. That's perfectly fine as well. But you want to make sure that it's not so intellectual because the heart of God is, is spiritual. And it's something that has to flow from heart to heart. So it doesn't have to be so thought out and so meticulous. You wanna make sure that you're on point, and yes, it should be on point and, and, and sharp and crisp and polished. But it does not have to start like that. And um, you, know, you just let God inspire your heart. And from your heart, you sit down and you put that pen to your paper and you write. The, what God puts in your heart to write. Uh, the other thing I want to speak about are hymns. A lot of the times people have wrote praise and worship hymns. And there's a song called It Is Well With My Soul. And that song was written after a tragedy struck this young man, Horatio. Um, he was struck with a tragedy. He lost his four daughters in a boat accident. And only his wife survived. And, and from that tragedy, he wrote that beautiful hymn, It Is Well, It Is Well With My Soul. And uh, so, you know, 
okay? <laughs> and the other thing is the, the Bible, excuse me, I'm trying to find my words, but the other thing is the Bible. You can use the Bible, it's, it's a powerful tool and it's a powerful weapon. And you can write songs based on the words in the Bible. If you have a favorite Bible verse, or if you have, you know, a, a scripture that really moves you, you can write a song based on that scripture. Or you can take the whole, the whole few scriptures and write your song based on it. A lot of Psalms is David's songs that he wrote uh, in the midst of, of trials and tribulations and joy and sadness and sorrow. He wrote those songs and it's, it's very powerful. Uh, the other thing I wanted to speak about, yeah, your personal experiences, dreams as well. You can use dreams that you have. Sometimes, you know, God inspires dreams as well. If you take a look in the Bible, there is account after account of God giving people dreams, powerful vision, 